Hey dear, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. Do you ever procrastinate? Do you ever put things off until tomorrow, next week, next time, one day, someday? If yes, do you usually procrastinate before you start something or do you start and then put things off to finish them until later? Either way, you are not alone. In fact, a recent study showed that on average, people, we all, procrastinate a full 218 minutes every day. That is over three and a half hours per day. It's crazy, isn't it? Because in total, that equals about 55 days per year. That is 20% of our entire awake time. It's huge. So why do we do it? Why do we procrastinate and how the heck can we stop procrastinating? That is what I'm gonna tell you about today. First thing, causes of procrastination and how to get how to get to the um, to the roots of procrastination to stop procrastinating. Once and for good. It was fun, right? So let's do that. Let's take a look. You might think that procrastination is basically caused by the lack of energy. Yeah, that's a very, very easy answer. And you think like, oh, I don't feel like, or I don't, I don't have energy. I'm just gonna watch TV instead of um, maybe go for a bike ride or send that email or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, insert your procrastination action step. So yes, that might be. However, in my belief, and I know that you agree with that, right? Everything physical, even if you actually do really lack energy, everything physical in our body manifests, manifests from something that happens here, from a mental challenge, blockage, cause, issue, whatever that is. So what are these challenges, what are these um, issues that we are actually about to address if we are to stop procrastinating? There are several. And this is also what the, the uh, survey showed and something that I go through with my clients when we are tackling procrastination. And why is that actually important for business? You know, as a business mentor and strategist, I love helping women to start a business. But if you are, ta if you are struggling with some of these challenges that I'm going to tell you about right now, then it's the same thing as if, uh, you are cooking, you're preparing food, you're chopping your ingredients, your veggies, you're putting uh, pasta or potatoes in the water and putting spices and herbs and everything is all neatly set and ready. Then you close the lid and you put it to simmer, but you never actually turn on the, the heat. There's no gas, there's no electricity, it will never get, never get ready. You get it? It's, in other words, it's like trying to drive a car, but it has no gas. It's already futile from the beginning. Let's take a look at these five challenges, shall we? All right, so the first one is perfectionism. Perfectionism is super big, goes together with a lack of self-confidence, and the next one, which is imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome, women are way more affected than men. Did you know that? Let me know in the comments. And then there's two more. There's the scarcity beliefs. And then the last one, fear of failure and or fear of success. Yes, these two actually go hand in hand, as crazy as it sounds. Yes, they are similar, connected. We get to change them, right? Unlike what you think, I am the way I am. No, you can't change that. That's just in here. So, do you wanna take a look at these five challenges? Yes, we might. We might talk about them. We might, um, with my clients again, we go over what are the causes of these five challenges or, or um, uh, issues want and uh, I call them inner game challenges and we might see where they come from or we can go straight into the roots of these challenges which simply said is trauma all these things and other that I didn't mention here because we're just focusing on these main five ones are caused by some type of low or high grade trauma whether that is um, mental, emotional, sexual, physical, financial, whatever type of abuse, we all carry some kind of um, backpack on our bags uh, filled with stones that represent our trauma. Now, would you like to know how to take care of that? 
how to recognize which trauma is causing which challenge that is then causing me to procrastinate and never actually start or finish something. Yes? Absolutely. It would be my pleasure to share this with you. That is actually what I love doing and there is, bing, 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 there's a shortcut to get there. There's a shortcut to get to the roots of the issue. And it all starts, it all happens actually with one main action step. If you're ready, steady, go. You have to become aware of it. You have to become aware of the real issue and you can do that through various experiential exercises, meditation techniques. Um, forgiveness is one of the topics on in my uh, signature program. Absolutely. And journaling questions. Um, just questions that are designed specifically to help you bring that out which you need to heal, which you need to shed, which you need to let go of in order to be able to finally start your business, get your business going, get it profitable, all these things that you feel like you have to do things, you have to do things, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's create, let's uh, be creative and you know, uh, do this stuff. But it won't bring you anywhere because you have these invisible walls in front of you. So, you may ask yourself a lot of questions and what is really important to ask yourself is what's really bothering me? Like, let's say, let's say that you are about to um, send an email, but you're like, ah, oh, I don't think we, if I should, maybe I should do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, let's go watch, I don't know, friends. Uh, let's go watch, uh, let's go play with uh, my child, play with um, my puppy, whatever. Anybody dog. So in that moment, I want you to ask yourself, what's really bothering me? What's really scaring me? And if that is too tricky of a question, if that is too like maybe hard for you to get to the, to the bottom of the, the issue, then there's another one that I really, really like. That is the shortcut that I uh, like to use. What is the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that could happen if that which I'm about to do goes badly? Hmm. The answer to that will show you which trauma is causing you to procrastinate in that moment. For example, what will really happen if you send an email and you don't get the answer is you might be rejected. When were you rejected? By who? Neglected? Rejected? Um, hurt? Because you asked for something and they said no or they said nothing and they hurt you? And then you back it up more and more and more to the first, first, first memory that you remember in your life. Maybe sometimes it's not even a memory. It's just a slight feeling that something happened with that person or in that moment, in that situation, in that environment, whatever that is. Bang, now you have it. That's the first step. When you have it, show me in the comments, done, and let me know if you'd like to know other uh, steps to really calm down. But oftentimes, the sheer awareness is already 80, if not 90% of the solution. Why is that? Because on a normal day, we actually, we work 95% of the time uh, like, like a machine, meaning automatically. We don't think what it is. We do things um, unconsciously, meaning that we just, you know, have it, we just do things like a robot kind of. And so when you actually stop and do things differently and actually think about what you're doing and, and why and what happened and, and just stop the process, that's where you say like, cut, enough, I'm gonna change something. That's where you, you also oftentimes, but just being aware of the, what, of, the, of the wound, right? You break the bandit off and you allow it to heal. Sometimes, of course, it needs more tendons, more care. So you might need the help of a professional, a therapist, or just a program, a book, a meditation, an audio, a video, whatever that is. But it's the biggest and the most important beginning step. So go do that now. Do not procrastinate on asking yourself what's causing the root of your procrastination. Go do it now and let me know in the comments how it went. See you next time. Thanks for watching. I think it would be pretty cool if you subscribed. Also, my daughter Sia gets a tickle every time someone likes a video. So if you love babies, well, you know what to do.